Hey viewers, my name's Kara, and I just want to give everyone a quick friendly reminder, and I know that you guys hear me say this kind of thing all the time, and essentially I'm preaching to the choir, because if you watch my channel regularly, you know, if you're one of my regular viewers, you probably already feel the same way, and so I'm not really telling you anything you don't know, but I really just want to remind people of the importance of embracing diversity and different opinions and remembering that it's okay for people to feel differently than you, but it's not okay for you to put somebody down because of what they believe. It's not okay for you to call people names or make fun of the way someone does something just because you disagree with it. In your head, you can do whatever you want. You can say whatever you want about them. No one can stop you from thinking whatever you want to think. But putting someone else down and just like making fun of views that are not your own is not gonna help you at all. It doesn't help your case and it's not gonna make you really feel any better in the long run. It might make you feel better for a bit, but you could be really hurting someone there. I'm the type of person you know who I love to have conversations with people who feel differently than me, especially if they also agree that we can disagree politely and just learn about each other and just learn and grow from that experience. You don't have to be cutting each other down during that or trying to disprove each other or trying to convince the other person to think a different way and you definitely do not have to call them names. This being said, I love having those types of conversations as I just said and I love to answer people when they ask me questions and things like that but the thing is Everything that we are all going through, not just my problems, all of your problems too, and they, they're not even the same problems as mine, and I know that. Every problem that any one of us is going through is a daily battle, and we need to remember that because sometimes it just gets to be too much. And as much as I love doing that, when it's all you hear or when it's coming from all different angles, sometimes you just really have to take a step back and say, okay, I can't get into one of those conversations right now because it's not a conversation, it's an argument. And that kind of stuff is just really draining and doesn't help either party. Everything we're going through is a daily battle. And some of us are in situations that are really accepting to any of our worldviews. And some of us are in situations that are really hostile to our beliefs and worldviews. And so I think we need to remember that when we're talking to people, it's a totally different situation for them than it is for us. Some people, I think I've got someone agreeing with me up here. Some people that we're speaking to never have to come across like a lot of hostility or arguing and stuff like that and they just get all the good stuff and that's great and I've got days like that. Others of us are constantly in a hostile situation where absolutely no one is on our side except for maybe the people online that we talk to and that's all they can turn to. And then other people have a little bit of both, which I think is where most of us are, where we've got the people in our lives who are really accepting, and then there's the people that we come across who just really aren't. And if it's a good balance, that's okay, but when either one gets really overwhelming, it's just not helpful. So as much as I wanna be able to have those conversations with people, certain times, certain things come up, and you know, my life, okay, talking about me personally now, my life is really busy right now, and there are far too many other things going on to be concerning myself with people who frustrate me or with situations that make me feel badly or negatively or things that bring out shadow aspects for lack of a better term. I absolutely never want to stay away from those things entirely because like I said they can help you grow if they are done in a really good way if it's a if it ends up being a good experience for you definitely coming across adversity is a great thing. But when that's all you're getting, man, you really need to take a step back and calm down and get back to your core before you can take on any more of that because it is draining. So if any of you are having this problem, I just wanted to remind people that it is okay that people don't believe the same as you do. It is okay. I don't believe this the exact same thing as any one of my viewers. I guarantee that. I know a lot of you think that we're like separated at birth, we're the same person, we have so much in common. That's great, we do, we have so much in common. But we do not have everything in common. And that's okay. And that's a great thing and we need that. 
if everyone was the same, the world would be a boring place and we would have no diversity and we would never continue to evolve as a species. If everything were the same, it would just be nothing. What is the point of that? But I'm here to remind you that that is okay and if you are in interacting with someone who does not respect that, go ahead and don't interact with that person anymore because you don't need to be putting yourself in constant pains trying to deal emotionally with these kinds of things. And before anyone tries to say they know what I'm talking about, like you know why I'm making this video personally, you don't. I'm gonna stop you right there. You couldn't know. Unless I tell you, you can't. I was just thinking about this and I have a feeling that other people deal with this too and since it's something that I had really come to terms with in this past year, I had to learn that for me, sometimes I just really need to step away from a person or a group of people and say, you know what, I'm not gonna make myself get along with you or make myself continue to interact with you if it's really a negative experience for me every time. I'm tired of pretending to be okay with things. I am okay with people disagreeing with me. I am not okay with being insulted because of that or being called names or anything of that nature and I don't think anyone should be. I used to call people names and I quickly realized that that is just the worst way to go about things because the moment you call someone a name, you lost. You did. You just lost the argument because if the only valid thing you can say is to call someone a name, you don't have anything else to say. I didn't want to make this long video, I just wanted to remind you all, and like I said, preaching to the choir, I know, but maybe someone needed to hear it at this point, and that's why it came to me. I don't know. But I'm putting it out there, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching, blessed be, I love you, and goodbye. I should also add briefly that I understand that sometimes the people that you need to get away from are people that you absolutely cannot get away from, either because you're too young and you're not in the life position to be able to just go away from certain people, or it might be someone in your workplace that you just kind of have to get along with. So in those cases, just try and keep it to a minimum that is manageable for you and take enough time to yourself to try and counteract that. There is no definitive way to get over it, but if at all you can, just walk away instead of having the conflict happen, that's the best thing to do. If you can't deal with it in your own way and try and just make sure that you are taken care of in whatever way that you need to be. That's not really supposed to be telling you what to do, but I did realize that I forgot to mention what happens if you can't walk away. So I just thought I would address that. Now I'm done. Thanks.